Tonight, investigators say the car bomb that killed the daughter of one of President Putin's allies may have been a contract killing. Eyewitness video showing what's believed to be the SUV Daria Dugina was driving engulfed in flames. Her father, Alexander Dugin, appears to be on the scene, visibly distraught. Russian authorities say she was likely murdered, a bomb placed under her seat. The question is why? Russian state-run media citing witnesses saying her father decided last minute to travel in a different vehicle and may have been the target himself. Alexander Dugin has been called Putin's brain, one of Russia's most influential ultranationalists, whose right-wing views found their way into Putin's speeches, including his staunch support for invading Ukraine. Views echoed by his daughter, seen on state TV on Thursday for the last time. She says people in the West are living in a dream and they need to be nourished by this war. Russia's foreign ministry speculated that Ukraine may have killed her, but no evidence of that has emerged. Ukraine's government denies any involvement. Tonight, an ex-Russian politician and Putin critic claimed responsibility on behalf of a previously unknown group called the National Republican Army. His claim couldn't be verified. On one level, you'd think that the Ukrainians have the most reason to dislike and despise Dugin. But on the other hand, I mean, this is no small feat. In Ukraine tonight, fears of retaliation in a country already on high alert, as Ukraine prepares to mark six months of war on Wednesday, coinciding with its day of independence. President Zelensky warning Russia may be planning something particularly cruel to ruin the occasion. Ukraine's second largest city will impose a round-the-clock curfew on a bittersweet Independence Day. And Josh Letterman joins us now from central Ukraine. Josh, President Biden spoke today with European leaders about resolving Ukraine's nuclear crisis. What do we know about that? Well, the focus was on preventing more military operations at Zaporizhia, Europe's largest nuclear power plant. The White House says Biden and the Europeans are pressing for U.N. inspectors to access the plant as soon as possible. Kate? Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.